Following week one victories to begin their respective seasons, the number five Cascade Cougars traveled to Van Horn Friday to take on the hosting Benton Bobcats in a non-district football game. The Cougars lost just one game in 2017, but they would match that total by the end of the night courtesy of a dominant performance put on by the home team. Picking up the action late in the first quarter, senior Matt Davis comes oh so close to putting the Bobcats on the board. However, it wouldn't be until the next play that he would find the end zone. Following a score for each team, highlighted by Davis's second rushing touchdown, this one from 39 yards out, Harris Hoffman takes matters into his own hands and scampers 58 yards here to bring the Cougars within two at 14-12 after an unsuccessful two-point conversion try, which ended up being the score at halftime. Using a methodical pace, Benton eventually took their opening drive of the second half into Cascade territory and capped it off with a touchdown reception by Nathan Mickles off a beautiful pass from Clay Krause from 20 yards out to put the Bobcats back up by two possessions. Later in the third, the Cougars were forced to begin their drive from the one after a gorgeous punt by Dylan Spina. Hoffman and company would get the ball off here, but two plays later on third down, he was called for intentional grounding in the end zone, resulting in a safety for Benton. Now leading 23-12 in the fourth, Benton put the final icing on the cake here with a six-yard rushing touchdown by Krause to move the Bobcats to 2-0 ahead of hosting CPU in week three for their homecoming game. Now here from Davis, who ran for 155 yards in Benton head coach Cal Gutschild. So, um, you know, a good start for you guys in that, you know, that first half, you guys up, uh, scored a touchdown uh, late in the first quarter and then, you know, got another one in the second, I believe. You know, then Cascade, you know, fought back and I'm sure you guys kind of expected that. You knew they were a good team coming in. Um, but, you know, with the way uh, the defense played, you know, in that second half and, you know, the offense made plays when they had to, um, what do you just have to say about, you know, the overall team performance tonight? You know, I, I'd have to agree with you on the first half. The first half, you know, but they're a good football team. That's why it was such a battle, and you know it's going to be a battle. I thought it, at halftime we came out and we grew up a little bit. I really did, and I think, you know, Matt's always been one of our leaders anyway, and, and he had, they all these guys help us with that. And there's just, a, I mean, there was a lot of good things that happened at halftime and in the second half. Yeah, and then if you want to add anything at all. I think they had us on the outsides a little bit, but second half we definitely came out, got them in a little bit better, and we just had a better de defensive front. Yeah, and then with that, I mean, obviously you had, uh, I think it was the one-yard touchdown to score first, and then you were able to break free uh, for that second one. What were you What were you kind of seeing tonight that was able to, you know, kind of allow you to break free on a couple rounds? Our line was incredible tonight. You could drive trucks through those holes. <laughs> it was just incredible offensive front. Well, I'm telling you, our schedule is a bear. I don't know if you've looked at it. You know, mm -hmm. you can't compare... Uh, we have, I think, four or five ranked teams on our schedule. So it's not like we're going through a wimpy schedule. You got, I mean, now we got Center Point, who's a really good 3A program. And then you got uh, Wilton, who's another dominant 1A program. So we still got our work cut out for us. And then we got to roll right into Union. So it's, it, it, I mean, we're just, we just got to keep growing. That's about all we got to do.